Rumors the royal wives do not get along have been swirling ever since Prince Harry and Meghan were married in May last year. However one royal commentator has highlighted the pair are still in the early stages of the friendship. Royal expert Katie Nichol said the Cambridges and Sussexes are set to branch out with more and more separate engagements and fewer joint appearances and she believes this will be the catalyst for Meghan and Kate to develop their friendship further. The author and broadcaster added the source of the feud may lie with the sudden fascination in new royal Meghan. Ems Nichols said Kate has been around for years longer than Meghan which has allowed the public's interest to develop steadily. Indeed, Kate and William first met at university way back in 2010. But Meghan has suddenly shot into the limelight over the last two years with public interest being solely on Meghan when the Fab Four Royals have appeared together. In an interview with American celebrity news website Entertainment Tonight, Ems Nickel explained that Harry has always been really keen to get Kate's stamp of approval. Ems Nickel added, he wanted them to be close as sisters-in-law. However the royal pair did not immediately hit it off and Nickel thinks they are still in an early stage of their relationship. She said, they're still really getting to know each other and there are many. A firm friendship could well blossom. I don't think it's out of the question many more years to come. I think people forget these are still, there, early days and I think it's a matter of all of them trying to find their feet as a foursome. Nichols suggested a source of friction could be how well Meghan, who she described as opinionated and a very strong woman, has rolled up her sleeves and dived into her royal duties. She said, yes, it's ruffled the feathers of a few courtiers. Possibly Kate does feel a little eclipsed by Meghan, who's just come along to such huge media interests. Public interests and being so successful from the start. But as I said, it is the early days. Of course, the palace has tried to knock these rumors of attention between the four royals on the head. Nicole cited this week's recent royal engagements as a benchmark for how the two couples are likely to behave in future. On Wednesday, both Kate and Meghan appeared separately in public with the Duchess of Sussex spending time at the Mayhew Animal Charity before attending a performance of Cirque du Soleil. Meanwhile Kate visited the Royal Opera House and met with dancers from the Royal Ballet. Nichols said neither upstaged the other but added, there does seem to be a little concern about the two women carrying out engagements on the same day because newspapers don't seem to know who to put on their front page. Nicole added the Cambridges and Sussexes will live increasingly separate lives once Harry and Meghan complete their upcoming move to Frogmore Cottage near Windsor Castle. She said, inevitably it's going to mean that we see less of them working together and more of them striking out independently.